Jalen Green has been the most criticized and ridiculed player this season from NBA media, from specifically NBA Twitter. For someone who was the second overall pick, he had high expectations, but people just expected him to be this star who could put up significant numbers right out of the gate. And there's no doubt Jalen Green did struggle to start the year. He started slow, but that is not uncommon for rookies, especially rookie guards who are coming into the league just into the NBA, who have a significant role on their team like he does in Houston. Like Anthony Edwards, a future All-Star who nearly won Rookie of the Year last year, had a terrible first half of the season, but was electrifying in the second half and made a late push to win Rookie of the Year. While I don't think Jalen Green is going to have a push to win Rookie of the Year simply because the availability and the production of the other top end rookies in this class, such as Kay, Devin Mobley, Scotty Barnes, Josh Giddy, and Franz Wagner, he has been one of the best rookies in the NBA since the start of February, and has started to look very comfortable and confident on an NBA court for the first time in his career, and has become that guy for the Rockets down the stretch of games, hitting clutch buckets, looking assertive and comfortable on the ball, making claims post game that he's attacking certain matchups like he did the other night against the Lakers be Carmelo. So let's talk about how good Jalen Green has been. Since the start of February, Jalen Green has been averaging over 19 points per game, and his growing confidence has been a big part of that success. He looks much more comfortable with the ball in his hands. He is aggressively attacking favorable matchups, and as we mentioned specifically with the matchup of Carmelo, he did so against the Lakers the other night, where he looked especially confident during the stretch, hunting down his shot, and hitting clutch buckets for the Rockets he is looking for his shot so much more comfortably and has been much better at finding and making his shot off of the dribble. He is taking multiple pull-up threes and mid-rangers per game now. He's not simply just catching shooting. He is becoming a focal part of the offense as an on-ball player. In mid-range game for a rookie is far from poor as well. He doesn't take a ton of them. That's not to be expected for most unless you're just a mid-range guy. But he hits them at a decent clip. He's not just a guy who long-term will be likely an at-the-rim and three-point shooting guy. Now, it's on very small volume currently, but his efficiency isn't bad, especially for a rookie. Most rookies come into the league and it's you're a three or you're at the rim or it's both. Most guys don't have a polished mid-range game early on in their career. And although Jalen Green is still going to have to work on getting a lot of his looks for mid-range, he's shown the ability already that he can find his shot in mid-range at times and can hit it positive going forward. He has shown that he can be and likely will be a three-level score. The three-point shooting from Jalen Green recently has been great. He's shooting 37% from deep on 7.2 attempts per game since the start of February, which is not bad efficiency on any standards, never mind a rookie guard who was creating some of his threes off of pull-ups as well. 2.8 per game specifically on the year are coming from pull-ups. 37% on over seven attempts per game for almost a month and a half of basketball is absurdly good efficiency for a rookie especially one who's not just all catch and shoot threes. I don't like it's absurd. That is such good efficiency for someone just coming into the league who isn't even necessarily a three point specialist. Now, sure. Is it the best part of his offense right now? Yes, but he has shown flashes in the other areas. And the fact that he has this good of a three ball when he can create some of his own threes bodes really well for him moving forward as an offensive player and as a primary offensive player who can be key to an offense and make big threes down the stretch. His catch and shoot threes, however, have been much consistent as of late as he looks more confident in getting his own three-point shot. And that confidence cannot be overstated or overvalued in terms of how well Jalen Green has been playing as of late. He visibly looked quite frustrated at times throughout earlier parts of the season, which was understandable because there was a lot of expectations and pressure around him as a number two overall pick. And he was struggling a little bit, especially compared to the other players in the top four of the draft, Mobley, Cade, and Scotty, all of which were having great seasons. But now that Jalen Green has strung a few weeks of good performances together, he's had that confidence. He has expressed 
the opposite now where he is truly just expressing so much positive emotion and enjoyment of basketball on the court and it genuinely for a young rookie makes so much of a difference to have that level of confidence to feel comfortable and having the ball in your hands to handle to find your open shot to hunt down shots to hunt down favorable matchups Jalen Green's had the talent. He just needed to get comfortable and confident in the NBA. He's gotten to that point now where he has that confidence. His turnovers are down drastically. On the year, I believe he's averaging slightly over two turnovers per game. But since the start of February, he's only been averaging 1.5. His decision-making's been much better. His handles look much tighter. Overall, he's just become much more comfortable with the NBA experience. And so this is not to say that Jalen Green is currently some all-star. But this is a rookie guard that everyone shit on for four months. Nearly. Now he's averaging over 19 points per game over a month. So, uh, yeah. He's not bad. So this takes me to a greater point. Maybe stop shitting on rookies like two or three months into their career. They are rookies, by the way. Many of which are 19. Probably younger than most of the guys who watch this video, and me included. They're rookies for a reason. They're new to the NBA. They're young and inexperienced in life, in basketball at this level. It's a massive transition on and off the court for these young adults. Expecting all rookies, even ones picked as high as Jalen Green at number two, to be elite out of the gate? That's just not a realistic expectation. Some guys are more NBA ready than others. Some are more ready off the court than others. Because for some of these guys, they this is a big transition to be moving to the NBA to have that pressure to potentially be away from family. There's off the court issues that are also going to potentially impact how quickly a player can transition to NBA life. Some players don't even truly put it together until year three or year four. Look at Anthony Simons. Look at Miles Bridges. It takes time for some of these guys to truly put it together. And some of these guys are just like Jalen Green and Anthony Edwards who might take half a season to feel comfortable in the NBA, which is completely understandable to make the jump college to the NBA, especially as a young guard on a bad team who has a lot of expectations as a high pick and has the ball in their hands a lot. It can take time getting comfortable, finding your shot, navigating the size, length, and coaching of an NBA defense, getting comfortable at an NBA level, getting comfortable with the athleticism of the NBA while these players in some circumstances, they're still growing, filling out their frame and adding muscle as they come in quite small or lean from college. Just because an NBA player can't figure it out in a few months in the NBA does not make them a bust, especially for top picks like Jalen Green. Jalen Green is far from a bust. Jalen Green is a future star, period.